Hi everyone, Sean here, and welcome back to The 101. Our series where we work every week to define endpoint security one question at a time. Now our question today actually takes a step back and looks more broadly at antivirus as a whole. Let's see that question up there. How do different types of antivirus work? So to answer our question today, we're really gonna look at antivirus in three main buckets. The signature approach, the machine learning approach, and the behavioral approach. Let's start with the signature approach. A signature-based approach checks every new file being installed on an endpoint against a database of known bad files. If the new file matches anything in the database, it is automatically blocked from running. This approach has long been the standard, and it's why it's often referred to as traditional antivirus. The signature in this approach is what's added to the software database on the endpoint by the developers of the antivirus platform so it knows what to block. The idea here is simple. Every single file, including malware, has a distinct hash. And if we know what that hash is, then no matter whenever or wherever it runs, we can see it. And that means we can stop it. Now, unfortunately, this approach has a number of flaws owing to the current landscape. Let's tackle one of the obvious ones. What if we don't know the file? So this actually brings us to our second approach, machine learning. Now, in some cases, you may hear this referred to as artificial intelligence, but the premise is basically the same. A machine learning approach checks new files being installed on an endpoint through an analysis of each attribute of the file, even if it has never been seen before. If it matches similar qualities to known bad files, it will be blocked as a likely malicious file. Machine learning is laser focused on solving the known conundrum. How do I stop a bad file before I know that it's bad? Well, using advanced algorithms created through supervised learning using large training datasets, this approach is able to analyze a file really quickly. If the new file looks, smells, and acts malicious, machine learning can stop it because it probably is. But again, we have a flaw in the system that misses a wide range of attacks. What if the attack doesn't use a new file at all? This leads us to our third major approach to antivirus, behavioral. This approach should sound familiar. It's the basis for NGAV. With this approach, we go beyond the file and we analyze, well, everything. A behavioral approach checks events, be it new files, processes, applications, or connections, and analyzes them to determine if they fit within the typical operations of an endpoint. If not, this approach can block an event or stream of events if it appears malicious. This approach is by far the most comprehensive, and it has a considerable edge for two main reasons. The first, it can stop all types of attacks, be it malware or non-malware based. And number two, it can anticipate future attacks, even if new techniques are designed to bypass current defenses. So what did we learn today? Well, the signature-based approach is still very widespread, but it lacks the capabilities of stopping modern attacks. Machine learning is really great at figuring out if a file is bad news, but it lacks the ability to detect, let alone prevent, non-malware-based attacks. The behavioral approach is the most comprehensive approach out there. It's able to analyze events instead of files to spot malicious behavior. Well, that's all the time we have. Thanks for tuning in and join us next week as we shift gears and we dive deeper into a specific type of attack. And thank you everybody for your questions. If you have some more, we want to hear about them. You should tweet us at carbonblack underscore inc and use the hashtag the 101. Or you can email us at the 101 at carbonblack.com. It's our mission to define endpoint security one question at a time and your questions are going to help us get there. Thanks and we'll see you next week.